I decided to make a horse guide for View Rising. So horses, this is actually something really important depending on your server settings. Uh, horses, you can hold F to mount them by default and ride them around. Each horse has its own speed. If you press tab to open your inventory, it'll show you the speed, acceleration, and rotation speed of your horse. Additionally, you can input water-filled canteens in order to make your horse live longer. If it runs out of water, it dies. So be sure to, if you like a horse that has good stats, be sure to fill it with a ton of water-filled canteens. So how do you get a good horse? Well, as far as I'm aware from all my testing, it's literally just RNG. It does not even depend on what zone it's from. So the best way to do it would probably be the Dunley Farmlands. And you can mouse over areas and one of the important loots is horse. In some places it doesn't say horse, but there's still a chance for horses, like this militia encampment. I know for a fact you can find horses here, and it doesn't say horses. So, you know, just go around Dunley Farmlands, and just go from horse to horse to horse. All you have to do is jump on a horse, and then it'll count as you own the horse. And then once you do that, you can press tab and see the speed. Now, I don't remember the highest I've seen for acceleration rotation speed, because I was always focused on max speed. But, the highest max speed that I've ever seen was I want to say it was like 12.3 maybe it was right around 12 max speed and acceleration I I want to say I've seen a 9 before for acceleration on a horse but I haven't I haven't gone through an insane number of horses I've probably jumped on like 30 40 horses or something like that uh, rotation speed 13 seems pretty high out of my memory but it's hard to remember I haven't been jumping on horses the last few years just making guides and stuff so why would you want a horse well um they're fast, first off. But also, you might wonder, well, what if you have bat form? If you have bat form, you just it's faster because you can fly over obstacles and stuff. Well, the main thing is, it's going to depend on your server settings. So, some servers will let you use waygates and bat form while carrying resources. And if that's the case, suddenly horses are borderline useless, basically. But, if your server has default settings, then you won't be able to teleport while carrying resources. And, you know, anything that, uh, well, you won't be able to see it unless you go to a teleporter, but, uh, or maybe with a certain settings. I think, actually, if you have the settings, use mouse over, it'll say it cannot be teleported, unless it's only when you're at a way gate. I'm not 100% sure, I don't remember anymore, but, uh, yeah, any, any of those standard resources, gems and... Uh, plant fiber and stuff like that. Blood essence surprisingly can't be teleported, but I, know, I was getting off a tangent now. So, if the server has default settings, then horses are a godsend, because you can carry a ton of resources very quickly from one place to another, which makes finding a fast horse with good acceleration pretty much crucial to having a good playthrough on that server. Also, you have some controls while on a horse. Important to know that um, you can attack while on a horse. It has, oh, depending on the weapon, I don't the cooldown might change on the weapon, depending on the weapon. I don't remember. I was just obsessed with using spear because the range is so damn far that I was just like, why am I? Even, why would I even use anything else? So, actually, I could probably see right now. Yeah, it's just one second for everything. But yeah, I don't know why I would use anything other than a spear because, well, I guess they all have the same range. Yeah, it was a trick. You can use literally anything. Okay, never mind. They're all exactly identical. Well, anyway, you can attack from while well on a horse, and it's totally OP for a lot of bosses because you can run around. Let me get out where I can actually move. Let me go this way, actually. Uh, so what you can do when fighting bosses, and I can show you on the stone golem that hangs out by my base if he's here. Of course he's not here today. Um, so you would just actually run and then just swing past them and then stop and then turn around and then go by and just kind of joust them for a lot of bosses. And they just won't be able to do anything. They just don't have to deal with it for a lot of bosses. Um, also, just know that you press spacebar. It's this right here, gallop. So whatever you set to, default to spacebar. Press it while running and your horse will actually run if you don't know. It's pretty important to know that. And then, let me get off the torch, press Q to get off the horse, and I'm doing that real fast because I, I really need to eat one of these stupid hearts so I don't bleed out. Okay, so yeah, press Q by default to dismount, and it'll dismount wherever you're aiming, but it won't go directly behind you. If you try to go behind you, it'll go off at an angle. You can only go out off to your left and your right at the furthest, so uh, keep that in mind when trying to jump off of your horse. So those are the basic controls for the horse. That's everything you know about the controls for the horse. So now, the water-filled canteens. To make water-filled canteens, you just gotta go to a tannery. I don't remember if you unlock this by default. I think it is unlocked by default. If not, it's got probably a V-Blood boss, uh, a V-Blood boss, but I think it's default. Uh, there's a recipe here for empty canteen, and once you have the leather recipe from defeating, I get, you get all this from defeating the boss of the Bandit Trapper camp. It's some frost archery lady, I don't remember. Then you make leather, get plant fiber and leather, you can make the empty canteens, and they're not hard to make. You can easily pump out an obscene number of these uh, with almost no resources, practically. 
and then you'll take those and you'll put them on your hotbar. I don't have one right now. I made one real fast. I can show you. They take 10 seconds to make, by the way. So put it on a hot key, like one through nine. Once you do that, you can press, in my case, I have not set to seven. So you get by some water and point at the water and press seven. And it'll just put it on suddenly like that. Uh, now I have water-filled canteens. So that's how you get them. You can also find them from looting random uh, boxes and chests and things in, in the Dunley farmlands and all over the place. Just Farbane, woods, everything. So now what you'll do is you get you don't need to get on the horse. You just get near the horse to bring up his menu and you can put it on. You can stack multiple in each slot. I think five per slot. So if you completely fill up your horse entirely with these, I think you'll get like a week before your horse dies. Which is really relevant on servers. I play on a custom on my own computer, so when I when I exit the game, I also exit my server, so time doesn't pass when I'm offline. But if you're on a server, actually, time will pass while you're offline. So it's actually important to load up your horse with a bunch of water before you go offline. Do not forget that. That's everything with horses. You can find them in the Dunley Farmlands. You can find them. I don't think you can find them in the Farbane Woods, actually, but you can find them in Dunley Farmlands. And you can find them in the Silverlight Hills. You cannot find them in the Cursed Forest, as far as I'm aware. And if I, as far as I remember, there's nowhere in the Farbane Woods that you can find a horse either. It's Dunley Farmlands or Silverlight Hills. And I tried jumping on multiple horses inside of Bri Brighthaven, thinking, okay, this is what, like the highest level zone in the entire game, basically. Maybe these horses are different. And statistically, the RNG seemed literally identical to just jumping on a Dunley Farmlands horse. Maybe I was really unlucky, though, so feel free to test it further if you want to. But I tried like 15 horses and it just, it felt literally identical. But again, it could have just been bad RNG. So up to you if you want to go test and double check that to see if that's correct or not. All right. Well, that's horses in a nutshell. I hope I didn't miss something. I tried to think of everything. I mean, I, you just comment if I miss something important and I'll, I'll see if I know the answer or not. But otherwise, that's everything that you need to know about horses in V-Rising.